We successfully handled the exception. Now it's time to understand how to customize this error message. Why? So in order to do that, just go to Arduino IntelliJ. Let me start this application. So I'm going to introduce what you know one more class called my errors or else I'll say what you know application error right so let me create the class so we created the class called application error so in the application error class so what we're going to do we're going to introduce the fields that you want to have right so I'm going to have a two field one is actually what the message and then what you know the code right so I'm going to introduce what an in integer code then private string message right so let me generate what you know the setters and getters for this so I'm generating the setters and getters for those two fields so that is generated and now you have to create one more you know class inside the API package the class is going to be is a error handler service I'm gonna call it like that right so or else I'll call it as what you know some the class is going to be so the class is going to be error handler right so let me create the class I'm going to annotate this class actually what you know as a controller advice then I'm going to annotate this class actually what you know rest controller right so my error handler has to extends the other class called response entity exception handler you know so make sure that that class from what you know this particular package so now we have to what you know introduce the method I'm going to introduce the method public response response entity okay the response entity I'm gonna pass the application error object okay so I'm gonna call this method actually what you know handle customer not found okay exception white so now this actually what you know takes customer not found exception as an argument customer not found exception exception right so then one more argument called what web request web request right so we created one method let me maximize the screen right so we created the method called handle customer not found exception so we are passing what you know customer not found exception as an argument as well as what you know web request as an argument here what I'm gonna do I am simply actually going to create what you know the header class right so instance of the error class so what is the class name it's application I'm gonna call what in error equal to new application class here I'm gonna set what you know the error code actually what you know you can set code whatever you want I'm gonna set the code as what a uh, one at one so you can actually what you know maintain your own error code if this is in the sense you can understand the customer record is not found so that's up to you but as of now I'm going with, with what you know one at one so error message I'm gonna say what you know the error message is actually what you know set message whatever I'll get from what you know eighth exception so I'm gonna get the message right so then I'm gonna return the new response entity right so here I'm gonna pass what you know the error object comma I'm gonna say what you know HTTP state is actually what you know not found so now here the method actually what you know created now we are returning what you know we const now we created what you know the application error object then we are passing the error object then we are returning what you know the response entity so now once everything is done so you have to make sure that this particular method is annotated as what you know exception handler annotation along with what you know the customer not found exception class
right so that means that you know whenever in your application the customer exception customer not found exception it's you know occurred so this particular method would be called and then this response would be served to what you know customer now if you look at it we already created what you know the customer not found exception right so since we are setting what you know not found here so there is no need of actually what you know setting the not found here so now you can remove that let me actually what you know optimize the import so we don't need that at all so just consider it's a plain exception now because we are doing all the code http status code you know it's happening in the error handler class right so now let me quickly run this application we'll see what is gonna happen here we go our application is started successfully now let's go back to what you know our postman now let me simply trigger what you know this one now you can see what we got a customized there are details. Thanks for watching.